Hi guys, let's take a look at this problem. It says x and y are real numbers such that 2 to the x equals to 3 to the y equals 216. Both are equal to the same thing. So we have to find 1 over x plus 1 over y. Now I'm going to show you two methods. The first method includes logarithms. So here what I'm going to do is we have this 2 to the x, 3 to the y. I'm going to write that 2 to the x is equal to 216 as well as 3 to the y is also equal to 216. And notice that 216 is just 6 cube. So I'm going to write that which is equal to 6 cube. And 3 to the power of y is also equal to 6 cube. Applying log on both sides. So we get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 6 cube and here as well log 3 to the power of y is equal to log 6 cube. Now here bring the indices this side so we have x log 2 is equal to 3 log 6 same way bringing this side. Now here as well bring the indices 4 log 3 and here 3 log 6. From here we can get x. x is equal to, bring it this side, so you have 3 log 6 over log 2. And here we can have y. y is equal to 3 log 6 over log 3. When you bring it the other side or divide both sides by log 3. Now we don't need the values of x and y. We don't need to solve x and y. We just want what is 1 over x plus 1 over y. Two is take 1 over x for this. 1 over x is this reverse. So you will have log 2 over 3 log 6. And here 1 over y is equal to log 3 over 3 log 6. Now I'm just going to add them up. So I have 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to log 2 over 3 log 6 plus log 3 over 3 log 6. Now I have same denominators so I can add up the numerators. So I have log 2 plus log 3 log 2 plus log 3 over the same denominator that's 3 log of 6. The log 2 plus log 3 is just multiplying 2 times 3 that's 6 so you have log 6 over 3 log 6. Log 6 log 6 you can cancel out so you are left with 1 third. So 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 third and that's your answer. That's the first method what we have done using logarithms. Now I'm going to show you the second method. As you can see here we have 1 over x plus 1 over y. If I take out LCM I have x, y and then in the numerator I'll just have x plus y. Now with this, this encourages me to find out x, y and x plus y. So something should be in terms of this. It's a clue for me so that I can solve it in this way. Something if I get it in x and y terms or x plus y terms. So I can solve it easily. What do you say? Let's find out what is x, y and what is x plus y. So 2 to the power of x is equal to 6 cube. 216 as we know it's 6 cube. And here we have 3 to the power of y is also equal to 6 cube. Now, as you can see here, it's x, y, right? So I'm going to make a combination of x, y here in the exponent. So here what I'm going to do is multiply y in the exponent. 2 to the power of x whole to the power of y. Now, as I've done here, I have to do it on both sides. Whole to the power of y. Same way here. I need to make it as x, y. So 3 to the power of y whole to the power of x. And here 6 cube whole to the power of x as I have multiplied by x. Now what I get is 2 to the power of xy is equal to 6 to the power of 3y. 
and here what I have 3 to the power of x y is equal to 6 to the power of 3 x you multiply the exponents yes now what would be the next thing in this is this is your equation 1 this is your equation 2 let's multiply both the equations so what I'm gonna do is multiply them 2 to the power of x y times this one 3 to the power of x y is equal to now multiply the right hand sides 6 to the power of 3 y times 6 to the power of 3 x now here you have same exponents so you can apply to the product of that 2 times 3 whole to the power of x y is equal to now you have same base so you add the exponent 6 to the power of 3 x plus 3 y here you have 6 to the power of x y is equal to 6 to the power of 3 x plus 3 y now you have same base there's equal to between them so you can equate the powers x y is equal to 3 x plus 3 y now taking out 3 common what you are left with x y is equal to 3 out so you are left with x plus y x y and x plus y are in a ratio of 3 to 1 so we can directly say that here I have x plus y send 3 or divide both sides by 3 so you get 1 third is equal to x plus y over bring it the other side you have x y so you've got the same thing what we have written here this can be written like this so that is one third is equal to x over x y plus y over x y so one third is equal to one over y plus one over x and you've got the same answer using this method so which method you prefer the most let me know in the comments and if you have any suggestions please do write it down thank you so much bye bye take care